Welcome back, everyone. Time now is 618. Time for Caitlin Lohr to join us once again. And we like it when you have these nice days <laughs> to tell us about. I like it too, you know, especially following the uh, massive amounts of rain that we had across the area over mm -hmm. the weekend and the potential flooding we could still see. But the sunshine and the warm temperatures are just nice to get outside and helps us dry up a little bit. So here's what we're talking about. This is the current view outside of Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato. Sunshine and blue skies and really that is the story of the day. You're going to want to get outside and enjoy this weather. If you haven't made it over to Minneopa Falls yet, you might want to go do that today. The water is rushing like crazy. It is beautiful over there right now. Just make sure you watch your footing very carefully because one wrong step and you slip into that water, it's going to carry you away. But I highly recommend getting out there and going to see it. Temperatures are at 53 degrees here in Mankato with 50 in New Ulm as well as in Fairmont and Owatonna. Still down to 43 degrees in Forest City with 46 in Algona. Sitting at 47 degrees in Mason City and Spencer. 48 in Blue Earth, Worthington, Wyndham and Olivia. Though we are up to 56 degrees in St. Peter. Winds nice and light out of the west southwest anywhere from really 5 miles an hour up to 10 miles an hour. Some areas such as Forest City seeing less than 5 miles an hour this morning. Satellite radar imagery showing that we've had rather clear skies through the overnight hours into this morning. And the good news is as we take a look at the future cast, that's going to continue. You might see a cloud or two today, but overall we're going to see lots of sunshine. So if you have anywhere to go or you want to get outside, don't forget those sunglasses. It's going to be a great day. We're looking at highs in the low 80s. Tonight will be mostly clear and cool going into tomorrow morning. We've got more sunshine with those mid to upper 70s on the way. We'll see a gradual increase in cloud coverage through tomorrow afternoon ahead of that cold front that's going to bring in showers and thunderstorms throughout Thursday. Now we are watching that very closely because our river levels, some areas are still rising. Some areas are already in the process of cresting. So this is the Minnesota River at Mankato. Yesterday we were only in that action stage. As you can see, we have surpassed into the minor flood stage. Now we are going to continue to rise into that moderate flood stage just over that threshold before we crest sometime tomorrow morning to early Thursday morning. Now here's a look at the Minnesota River at Henderson. Still sitting in that minor flood stage for now, but again, we're projected to rise into that moderate flood stage. We're going to reach that crest sometime early Friday morning before we start to see those totals decrease. So we are keeping an eye on those shower and thunderstorm chances for Thursday as that rain is going to add to these river levels. Here's a look at the Minnesota River at New Ulm. The good news for this part of the river, we are already cresting, which means we're kind of topping out over the next day or so, and then we're going to see those river levels decrease. But the bad news is we are topping out in the minor flood stage. Now here's a look at the Cottonwood River at New Ulm. Good news is, once again, we are already cresting, but the bad news is this part of the Cottonwood River has reached that major flood stage at just over 17 feet. So even though we are cresting, major flooding in portions of that area before we start to see those water levels decrease. Now here's a look at the Cottonwood River at Springfield. Again, moderate flood stage right now in the process of cresting. We'll start to see those river levels decrease as we go into the end of this week. And again, a lot of this sunshine and a lot of the sunshine that we're going to see throughout next week will help us dry up a little bit. 80 degrees for the high today. Get out there and enjoy it. We're looking at a low of 53 degrees by tomorrow morning. Again, here's a look at your extended forecast. Showers and thunderstorms Thursday may linger into early Friday, but we're not expecting a whole lot on Friday. And then we'll see sunshine return through the rest of the weekend and upcoming week with nice temperatures in those 70s returning after that cold front. Kelsey, Lisa. All right.